Men have to learn how to hide their high interest in women because the women are use it against them. Sometimes, even though you got a lot of women, it might be one woman that catch your mind, might catch your eye, might have that body you like, might have that walk, that talk, that smell, that swag, that female swag, that sex appeal. There's always one that's gonna get your attention, but you still gotta learn it. You might have a lot of women. You might get a lot of play. You might be the man, might got a lot of swag, but it's always one woman that's gonna catch you higher than the rest. You still gotta learn how to hide it. This woman may be average to other men. She may be uh, look like a cookie monster to other men. But to you, she just ring your bell. And you still gotta hide that interest in her. Because once she see that interest in your eyes, it turns her off. And she say, maybe I can use him to, to boost up my ego and humiliate his him. They love to see interest in your eyes because that puts them in a position of power to slam the door in your face. They love to slam the door in your face. They love to look down on you. But you can look like, you can be, you can be the most monstrous looking man in the world, but if you don't like her, she got no power over you. And she gonna respect you. That's why a lot of men don't walk up to women and be aggressive and that's and that. You gotta have a thick skin nowadays to approach a woman and say something to her. You have to have a thick skin and a certain high level of security. And you gotta be patient because they'll disrespect you to the fullest if you just say, hello, how you doing? <clears throat> then they find out that you a millionaire and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so so. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know you were different. How how am I different? You know, because you you're special. You you're different. How am I special? How am I different? You're a millionaire. Okay, so that makes me special. Make me different because I'm a millionaire. So I'm. I can be the same person, but just because my money is different, you treat me better. That's crazy. This is what they doing. You can, they don't see you unless you have money or unless you have a pretty girl in your shoulder. Then other women want you once you have a pretty girl in your shoulder. I'm a prime example of that. I've had pretty women on my shoulder and everybody look at you, everybody wants you. The women want you when you already dip in that ham bone in another woman. They don't want a clean ham bone. They want an already dip ham bone. They want what they can't have. So they'll never have what they want. They'll constantly be in a position to complain and listen to Murray J's songs. Complain with their friends all night. He didn't call me. He didn't text me back. That's what they want to say. How they can come? How can they complain about a man that's that's interested in them, that's doing everything right? They don't want the interest man. They want that man that they can't have because they addicted to punishment. They addicted to that. They want to get punished. They want it the hard way. They want to spend the best years of their life getting ran through by men who don't want them. Men who have wives, men that have girlfriends, men that just going through city to city, like my NBA friends, my NFL friends, my rapper friends, they go through them because they know if they did take one of those women serious, she won't appreciate it. It's all online. It's, look, at, look at it. Will Smith got $400 million. Just because you're successful in the world's eye don't mean people going to appreciate you. I appreciate Will Smith. I like his spirit. He got, he's a great man. He's a good guy. I love him. I think he need to be appreciated. I think a lot of men need to be appreciated. We live in a world where the appreciation of good men is low. They complain about they want a good man. When they get him, they disrespect him. 
They disrespect him. They don't give him the yammy. He have to beg for the yammy. Gotta be a special date for the yammy. He gotta jump through hoops just to get the yammy. He gotta earn the yammy. Even though he already earned the yammy. But the man who don't care, she's trying to impress him on her knees, on her back, on her side, all around town. She wants to impress him. But she knows she's not going to win nine times out of ten. Because once a man, a man know if he like you in, in the beginning. Men know if he like you in the beginning. We don't got to grow on you all the time grow on you and all that stupid stuff. We know if we want to deal with you in the beginning. And women can see their interest level and if they see it, if they see it, they not going to appreciate you. They like drama. They like trauma bonds. They addicted to trauma bonds. They want to know that you're going to be a problem. They want to know that you don't care. That's what they're addicted to. They're not addicted to nothing else but that. Unfortunately. You got to stay prayed up that God send you a virtuous woman. Ladies, the only type of man you're supposed to be helping is a man of God. And he don't, he don't have to be perfect. If that man is not talking about God, you shouldn't be trying to help him. You shouldn't be trying to give him your used up yammy. You should only give men of God those privileges. Because he's going to appreciate it. But if you think you're going to change a man, you keep trying to change something. How about just dealing with a man we already write? Hmm? They want what they can't have so they'll never have what they want. So most of them end up single and complaining. When all they had to do was get a good man that was paying them attention, a godly man. He's gonna be have flaws, he's gonna be perfect, he's gonna be regular. A godly man is a regular man. He's just connected to God. He just, certain things he's not going to do because he have a conscience. That conscience is the Holy Spirit. It won't allow him to go too far. He, he's not going to be perfect, but he ain't going to go too far. But, but most of the time, they don't give them guys a chance. I'm Alan Rillionaire. Everything you need is in the description box. Examine the description box thoroughly. If you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, send me a message on Instagram. The link is in the description box. And let me know how much time you want. All newcomers, welcome to Reading the Nation. Much love to you. I see y'all soon in the comment section. All newcomers, press like and subscribe and hit the bell for the next video. Keep Jesus close. In the meantime, in between time, I'm out and I love you.